T112 algorithms and programming. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at Java. Which of the following is an appropriate explanation of a Java servlet? It is a program that is developed with Java and is executed after being downloaded from the server. B. It is a program that is developed with Java again and executed on a web application server at the request of a client. C. It is a set of rules for handling a program developed with Java as an application component. Or D. It is an interpreter that executes pro a program developed with Java and has a function to execute a sort of intermediate code called bytecode. So let's look at the next slides and see if we can find out the correct answer. A Java servlet is a server-side Java program developed by Java language that extends the capabilities of a server. It is executed on a web server at the request of a client and acts as an intermediary between the client and the server. Although servlets can respond to any types of requests, they most common, commonly implement applications hosted on web servers. It helps enhancing web server functionality with minimal overhead maintenance and support. Therefore, our answer is B. So let's just go through the other options and quickly explain what they are. A Java applet is a small application which is developed in Java and can be downloaded from a server and run. An applet is typically embedded inside a web page and runs inside the browser and works at client side. C. Rules for handling programs developed in with Java as an application component are called Java Beans. Java Beans is a specific mechanism for component oriented development. Final answer D. One of the characteristics of the Java language is a module generated by compiling a source program, which is an intermediate code called bytecode, rather than compiling the program into a machine language program that depends on the CPU of the computer to run. So if we compile into machine language, we can only run on the CPU that our machine language is written for. However, what Java does, it will first convert it to bytecode, and then we'll see what it does next. This then intermediate code is converted by an execution environment or an interpreter called JVM, Java Virtual Machine, into machine language program on that computer to execute. This mechanism is called multi-platform. That does not select the type of computer that a program runs on. In order to execute a Java servlet, a JVM is installed on a web server. And as we can see from the previous slide, the answer is B. So what have we learned in this tutorial? Well, we've learned about the Java servlet as well as the Java applet and Java beans and how these work on Java. And finally, we've learned how Java uses the JVM to utilize a multi-platform programming language.